Welcome to Ponyville. Howdy, y'all. My name is Applejack. And my name is Twilight Sparkle. Welcome to Ponyville. Now, this is our story of how we moved from our world to the human world. Well, we first discovered it before we moved. But anyway, it all starts where Twilight calls us all for a meeting, including me, Applejack, but you also know who else she calls, Rarity, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash. So watch and find out what happens. It all starts here at Sugar Cube Corner one late afternoon. Ah, where is Twilight? She called us here at Sugar Cube Corner for a reason. Be patient, Rainbow Dash, darling. She'll be here soon enough. Rainbow Dash isn't the only impatient one, Rarity. And she's right. Twilight wouldn't have called us here for a meeting for no reason. Did she even tell you why? To meet us here at Sugar Cube Corner, Pinkie Pie? Nope, not even I know why Twilight asked me to call you all here. Gummy doesn't know either, do you, Gummy? Well, whatever Twilight called us here for, y'all, I bet it's something good. Ooh, I wonder if it's a surprise present for me. I hope it's a new Daring Do book. I hope it's a new animal groomer. An automatic animal groomer. Angel has been having bad fur days. Darlings, I hope it's an automatic costume maker. All week I've been... Working so hard on making costumes, my hooves are hurting so bad. Ooh, maybe it's an automatic cupcake maker. Ha! 
Hello, every pony. Now, I bet you're probably wondering why I've called a meeting here at Sugar Cube Corner. Well, why don't you come outside and see why? So why'd you call us for this meeting, Twilight? You'll see, Applejack. Ooh, is it a new Daring Do book? I've been meaning to read a new one. In fact, Daring Do hasn't released one in a week. Sorry, Rainbow Dash, it's not a new Daring Do book. Is it something that's under that tarp? Yes, Fluttershy. It is my honor to introduce my latest invention. Latest creation, I mean, is what I should say. Ta-da! Um... Oh, uh... What's wrong, girls? Uh, no offense, Twilight, but, uh... Darling, we don't know what this thing is. Oh, well, you can guess if you want. Well, I'll take the first guess. Is it a machine that makes Daring Do books? Or... A Wonderbolts fixing costume machine? Uh, no. Think more than that. Is it an automatic apple bucking machine? That can make you rest your achy hooves? Big Macintosh has been complaining about that for a week. No, think bigger than that, Applejack. Ooh, is it an automatic cupcake-making machine and an automatic washing alligator machine for gummy? No, think bigger than that, Pinkie Pie. Darling, is it an automatic costume-making machine so I can rest my achy hooves? No, Rarity, think even bigger than that. Is it an automatic bunny groomer? Sorry, Fluttershy. Ooh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Is it a special teleporting machine that makes you go from this world to, to the human world that you've been doing research and bragging about us for the past week? Telling us that you've done lots of reading about the human world, about... All the other, all the stuff that we don't have in this world in Ponyville. Yes, Pinkie Pie. Yes, that's it. That's it. She got it, audience. She got it. <laughs> Be Twilight, darling. So let me get this straight. You invented a teleporting machine that can make us go from this world to the human world, which you've been doing some research and reading on for this past week and bragging to us about. Non-stop. <sighs> Typical Twilight. Always doing some reading. <sighs> Did you miss this audience? I miss this. No offense, Twilight. None taken, Applejack. Yes, Rarity, you are correct. With this teleporting machine I invented, we will go to the human world and explore it. Together. Ooh! This... Discovering the human world. That's more exciting than making 200 cupcakes in one day. 200 cupcakes in one day? I'd rather love Angel than do that. 
Ooh, this is even better than a Derek Dew book. Or being with the Wonder Colts. We get to explore the human world. 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 Ooh, very exciting! Eee! Just to let you know, audience, Rainbow Dash, she never reacts like this before in the show. So this is new to you. So, uh, Twilight. When can we test out this invention of yours? Well, I also invited Princess Celestia and her sister, Princess Luna, along with Shining Armor, Princess Cadence, and Flurry Heart. So we'll all be able to go and explore the human world together. And hopefully avoid all the dangers. And to answer your question, Rainbow Dash, I talked over with Princess Celestia, and she said that sadly, she won't be able to come until tomorrow. What? Tomorrow? Yes, Rainbow Dash. Tomorrow's the only day Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Cadence, Shining Armor, and Flurry Heart can squeeze in their schedule to check out the new invention and explore the human world with us. What? But can we just go and explore the human world without them? No, Rainbow Dash. Princess Celestia said she would want to see this invention I invented for herself. And so did Luna, Cadence, and Shining Armor. Even Flurry would want to see this cool teleporting machine her aunt invented for her. And for all of us. So, sorry, Rainbow Dash. We can't Explore the human world without Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence, Shining Armor, and Flurry. What? But... Please? Twilight, can we? And why tomorrow? Do we have to do it? Sugar Cube, don't you see that, it's, that the sun's going down and it's starting to get dark? And besides, darling, you can wait till tomorrow. Good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those ponies who wait, I should say. Yeah, and in the meantime, Rainbow, you can help me beat my 100 making cupcake record. Don't change the subject, Pinky. Now, Rainbow Dash, be nice. No, it's not fair. Why? Why do we have to wait till tomorrow? And why do we have to wait for the princesses? They don't have to see it. Rainbow Dash, Princess Celestia and the others want to see the invention. They said so themselves. It wouldn't be nice to go into the human world without them. I'm afraid Twilight has a point, Sugar Cube. Come on, you're all not going to take Twilight's side, are you? Rarity? Sorry, darling. There's nothing I can do about it. Applejack? Pinky? Sorry, Rainbow. I'm taking Twilight's side. And Gummy, too. Flutter, Fluttershy. Sorry, Rainbow, but... I choose to be on Twilight's side. Uh! <sighs> Darling, don't act like this. Don't touch me, Rarity. Can't believe how selfish you're being, Twilight. And I thought we were friends. <gasps> but Rainbow Dash, I promise we're gonna 
No, don't talk to me. You know what? I'll prove it to you. Maybe I can be patient and wait till tomorrow. So, see you later. But, Rainbow... Uh, don't you all think we've been a little too hard on Rainbow Dash? I think so, darling. Um, maybe we should try and talk to her? No, Fluttershy, we should probably give her some space. Well, in the meantime, why don't we have some cu cupcakes before we all go home and go to bed? Want to, every pony? I have cupcakes to share. I'm up for a cupcake. Me too. Me three. Twilight? Sure, Pinky. I hope Rainbow Dash will be all right. I mean, what she's gonna? What is she gonna do? Steal my invention in the middle of the night? Yeah, I bet that won't happen, darling. Now, come on, let's go have a cupcake. <laughs> Those are some yummy cupcakes. Thanks for sharing them with us, Pinkie Pie. No problem. Well, every pony, it's getting late. And we don't want to be tired if we're going to try out my new invention tomorrow. So let's all get some sleep and meet each other here at the Golden Oak Library. Um, should we go tell Rainbow Dash, or do you think she's still steaming mad? Oh, I'm sure she'll be fine tomorrow, Flutter Darling. Well, good night, y'all. See you in the morning. Good night. Say good night, Gummy. Night, Twilight. See you in the morning. Boing, 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 boing. I can't wait to test out this new invention of yours, darling. I just hope Rainbow Dash is okay. She looked very angry. Oh, don't worry, Fluttershy. I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, good night, every pony. See you in the morning. <sighs> Hi, better. Get some sleep, too. <sighs> I am so tired. I wish Spike was here. So we can go and explore the human world together. <sighs> oh, and, uh, audience. Yes. You audience, I bet you're probably asking, one, how did I restore the Golden Oak Library? And two, where is my baby dragon Spike? Well, to answer the first question, one, Spike is not in this movie. Jake asked if he wanted to be in this movie, but he, he said that he's not ready to be on the big screen. So Spike asked me to tell you all watching, that he won't be in this My Little Pony movie, but he will in the next. And the second question, how I restored the Golden Oak Library, I used a special spell, but I, unfortunately, I can't tell you it. So, I hope you all understand. So, again, Spike won't be in this My Little Pony movie, but he will be in the next. Anyway. <sighs> I better get some sleep. I hope Rainbow Dash will be okay. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Again, it's not like she's gonna take my invention in the middle of the night. 
<sighs> oh, Spike, you wakey, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ugh. I want that try the invention. <sighs> Twilight, what a no. Ugh. I want to do it now. I can't wait much longer. Uh, 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 uh. I can't wait till tomorrow. Because of Twilight, I can't even sleep. Because I'm too excited. Hmm. I'm sure she won't mind if I just borrow it. Just for a little bit. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I'll just borrow it for a little while and then I'll just bring it back. Hopefully, Twilight isn't mine. I can just take it to the Forbidden Falls. Hmm. Forbidden Falls. Princess Celestia said no pony should ever go to the Forbidden Falls, but I don't know what's the big deal. It's just a waterfall. Can this thing be any squeakier? Who's there? Uh oh. Rainbow Dash, what do you think you're doing? Uh, just borrowing your invention. I'll bring it back. Bye. Bam. Rainbow Dash! Get back here right now! I better get the rest of the girls. Rainbow Dash! Come back! Twilight! Twilight, darling, what's wrong? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Rainbow Dash took the transporter machine. And she's running off with it. Ooh, I knew this was gonna happen. Well, you were right, Fluttershy, and there's no need to get you girls. Well, we better stop her, Sugar Cube. I know, Applejack. Come on! She's heading into the Everfree Forest. Boing, 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 boing. Rainbow Dash! Wait up! Boing, 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 boing. She's too far away. She can't hear us. Come on, girls. We gotta catch up to her. 
We're going as fast as we can, darling. Oh, man, I can't believe I got busted. Well, I can still borrow the invention. Ugh, I, but I gotta lose Twilight and the others. Ugh. Yes, this way. Ugh. Man, this thing is heavy. There she goes, darlings. Rainbow Dash! No, not that way! Sugar Cube, wait! Come back! Oh, dear. Princess Celestia warned us about this, but Rainbow Dash is heading for the Forbidden Waterfall. Uh-oh, I should have told you girls sooner. Um... If the transporter machine is close to a waterfall, it becomes too powerful, and it's strong enough to suck all of us through. Oh, darling, you should have, you really should have told us that indeed. Rainbow Dash doesn't know. Well, quickly, girls, let's stop her before it's too late. Ah, oh, for Blant's sakes. For all the bad stuff that's happened to us in the past, this has got to be the worst thing that's happened. Rainbow Dash! I have a feeling this is not a predicament. Um, I could need, a, I could use a hand or a hoof. Is any pony else reading these signs? This is definitely not a predicament at all, Pinkie Pie, you're right. Looks like we're down to six ponies. Oh, this is not good at all, darlings. Look, there's Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash, wait, stop! Twilight, I promise, I'm just borrowing the machine. Rainbow Dash, there's something you should know. And you should listen. Sorry, can't hear you, I'm busy. Trying to turn this thing on, find out how it works. Rainbow Dash! The machine shouldn't be near any water! And you're right in front of a waterfall! The waterfall Princess Celestia warned us and every pony else not to go to! I don't even know what the big deal is. What was Princess Celestia warning us about this waterfall? Rainbow Dash, listen to me. The machine shouldn't be near any water. I'm not going to get it wet, Twilight. No, that's not what I'm worried about. I invented the machine that shouldn't be near water. If it's near water, the portal that will go from this world to the real world but will become too powerful and strong, too strong, and will suck all of us through. Which will also create a very strong wind. Yeah, I don't believe that. Darling, Rainbow Dash, you should listen to Twilight. Come on, girls. Are you really taking Twilight's side? One click of a button is not going to hurt. Now, come on. Now, how does this thing work? Do you, like, press this button? Rainbow Dash, no, not that button. Oh, now she's done it. Done what? I was trying to warn you, Rainbow Dash. If the machine is too close to any water, like that waterfall right there, you would have heard me said that there will be a, a powerful portal, a very strong wind, 
which will suck all of us through the waterfall and into the human world. Uh, whoops. Uh, is it getting windy, or is it just me? Uh, it's getting windy, Fluttershy. What's happening, Twilight? Now you've done it, Rainbow Dash. Look! <coughs> oh, no. Just as I thought. Girls, quick. We gotta get away before we get sucked in. Come on. Eh, eh. Ah, Rainbow Dash. Ah, ah. Girls, help. Hang on, Sugar Cube. We got you. Eh. I got gotcha. you. Uh, Y'all... A uh, little help? Applejack, darling, I gotcha. Uh, oh wait. Oh no, I don't. Wait. Ah! Uh, somebody grab help! I got you, Rarity. Wait for me! And I got Pinkie Pie. Uh, ah! Whoa. Look out for the portal, darlings. Ah! Twilight, Sugar Cube, whatever you do, don't let go. Uh, just one little problem, Applejack. I can't hang on much longer. I'm slipping. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I can't hold on much longer, girls. I think we're about to go into the human world. Uh, can't. I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't hold on much longer. Ah! Ah! Every pony and gummy. was fun! Can we do that again? Pinkie Pie, are you crazy? We almost died in there! Um, darlings, quick question. How are we not wet? I don't know. That's weird. What kind of part of the Everfree Forest is this? Uh, I don't think this is the Everfree Forest still, Rainbow Dash. In fact, I don't think we're in Ponyville anymore. Well, if we're not in Ponyville, then where are we? That's a good question, Fluttershy. I spy with my little eye. A sign! Uh, 
Are we really going to play that game right now, Pinkie Pie? No, really. Over there. A sign. Look. No, Pinkie Pie's right. There's a sign. And it says, Welcome to Coolsville, a cool place to live. Hey, I've done some reading about Coolsville. Exactly what kind of reading have you done about Coolsville, darling? Well, Coolsville is a huge town full of mysteries, crimes, and basically a lot of stuff that I've done a lot of reading on. But we were supposed to be exploring the human world together with Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence, Shining Armor, and Flurry Heart. And guess who got us into this mess? Why is every pony looking at me? What did I do? Oh, right. I did cause this mess. We are very disappointed in you, Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Twilight told you to wait until tomorrow to try out her new invention, but you didn't listen. And if you didn't steal Twilight's invention at three in the morning, this wouldn't have happened. And Twilight tried to warn you that the invention was too close to water. The vortex will become too powerful and suck us all in. Even me and Gummy are disappointed in you, Rainbow. Right, Gummy? Say hi to the audience, by the way, Gummy. Twilight, you're right. This is all my fault. Twilight, I'm... Don't speak, Rainbow Dash. I am very angry with you. You shouldn't have listened to me. Now we're gonna have to go back to Ponyville through the portal we just came in. Ugh. Great. Now the portal is gone. <sighs> Rainbow Dash, if you didn't take my invention, this wouldn't have happened. Twilight, I- No! Rainbow, don't talk to me. In fact, don't talk to any of us. Yeah, Sugar Cube. We are very angry with you. But no buts, darling. Now we're gonna have to find another way to get home. And how exactly are we going to get home, Twilight? Oh, not to worry, every pony. I also designed the Vortex, or Portal Machine. You can also call it the Vortex Machine, by the way, if you want. Whatever you're comfortable. To appear in the human world, too, whenever we decided to go home. But it will only appear in the highest altitude. Like a mountain. You mean that mountain all the way over there? Yes, a mountain just like that. Good eye, Fluttershy. Thanks. So when is the portal machine going to appear? It should appear on the mountain right about now. See that puff of smoke you just saw? That's a sign that the invention is already on the mountain. And I also invented it to duplicate itself. So, it can be in both places. Back at the Forbidden Falls and on the mountain. But that mountain is so far away. Do we really have to walk or hitchhike all the way to it? That's gonna take like a few days. 
Well, you're the one who got us into this mess, Rainbow Dash. So we have no choice but to hike to that mountain. Maybe if you were just patient and didn't take Twilight's invention in the first place. Yeah! Come on, girls. It might take a few days to get to that mountain because of Rainbow Dash. Twilight, I'm... If you're trying to apologize, Rainbow Dash, I don't want to hear your apology yet. Hmm. Girls, we don't want to hear your apology either, Rainbow Dash. Yeah. What a friend you are. Fluttershy. Rarity. Gummy Pinky. Save your apology for... for another time, Rainbow Dash. What a friend you are. But I'm really sorry. Girls, I really am... <sighs> Come on, Rainbow Dash. You got us into this mess. We're going to get ourselves out of this. No thanks to you. <sighs> oh, boy. What have I done? Wait for me, girls. Honestly, Rainbow Dash. This is worse than the time I got in trouble with Princess Let. Oh, no! It's probably the next day in Ponyville. Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence, Shining Armor, and Flurry would be arriving at the Golden Oak Library by now. They'll be wondering where we are. Oh, don't worry, Sugar Cube. They'll know where we are once we they followed our... Huff Prince. Okay, okay. <sighs> Come on, girls. No use talking to Rainbow Dash since she's in enough trouble already. Guess who's gonna come looking for us, Rainbow Dash? Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence... Shining Armor and Flurry. No thanks to you. Girls, please, I... Save it, Rainbow Dash. Hmm. Meanwhile, back in Ponyville, I can't wait to see Twilight's new invention. Me too. Twilight is such an inventor now. Even Flurry agrees. I can't believe she restored the Golden Oak Library and she still lives in the Friendship Castle. Me neither, sister. Me neither. Twilight Sparkle. Twily? It's Shining Armor. And Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and Flurry Heart, your favorite niece. Looks like no ponies home. Hey, are those tire tracks? Not tire tracks, wheel tracks. Yeah, 
Those look like wheel tracks from Twilight's portal machine. And those look like Twily and her friend's hoof prints. Hey, come to think of it, Twilight's friends are supposed to join us to explore the human world too. Hmm, those hoof prints go to into the Everfree Forest. I hope Twilight's okay. I'm sure she's fine, dear. Come on. She and her friends probably went for a walk to wait for us. Come on, let's go and look for them. Cadence is probably right. Come on, Luna. Let's go. Right behind you, Celestia. Twily? Twily? Twilight? Pinkie Pie? Applejack, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy? Certainly they would have gone that way. That goes to the Forbidden Falls. Well, I hate to break it, every pony, but Twilight and her friend's hoof prints lead to the Forbidden Falls. Celestia, you warned every pony in Ponyville not to go to the Forbidden Falls. Why would Twilight and her friends go there? I don't know, Luna. Is it starting to get windy or is it just me? Whoa, 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 what's going on? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. What's going on? Whoa, hey, whoa. Hey, what's going on? Whoa. Why is, why are we being pushed towards the falls? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is the wind all of a sudden pushing us towards the waterfall? I don't know. Hey, wait, isn't that Twily's invention, the portal machine? Uh, I think it is. Girls, shining armor. I have a feeling Twily and the others may have accidentally got sucked through that portal and into the human world. And I think we're about to be sucked in too. Oh, sweet Celestia. Hey. Sorry, Celestia. Uh, every pony grab onto each other. We're about to be sucked. Shining armor, try and pull us back. I can't. The wind's too powerful. Uh, whoa. I'm... Slipping. I can't hold on much longer. Oh! Oof. Ugh. Is every pony okay? I'm okay, Celestia. So are we. Flurry's okay. She's not hurt. But where are we? Welcome to Coolsville, a cool place to live. This must be part of the human world that Twily's been doing some reading on that she was bragging me last week. 
And look, I bet her friends were here. More their hoof prints. Good eye, dear. Uh, Celestia, Cadence, Shining Armor, the portal. Oh no, it closed. Ugh, without the portal, we can't get back home. What are we gonna do? I think in order to get home to Ponyville, we have to find Twilight and the others. Celestia is right. Twilight's my little sister. And she was my little fool I used to babysit. And she's Flurry's auntie. And she was my faithful student. So in order to get home, we've got to find Twilight and her friends. So come on. Lead the way, Celestia. Right behind you, Princess Celestia. We'll follow you. I hope Twiley's okay. We'll find you, Twiley. Hmm. More of them. I better follow and make sure nothing bad happens to them, too. Na -na -na -na. I'm still pretty angry with you, Rainbow Dash. <sighs> if you haven't took my invention, this wouldn't have happened. Well, I couldn't wait until tomorrow. And I couldn't wait until the princesses to arrive. Well, Rarity did say good things come to those who wait. Didn't you, Rarity? Yes, darling, I did say that. Honestly, Rainbow Dash, if you would have just listened to Rarity and Twilight, this would never have happened. And don't apologize yet. We're not ready for an apology just yet. Right, girls? Yeah. Not even gummies ready for an apology, Rainbow. And plus, Rainbow Dash, you better hope we not run into any poachers. Yeah, I don't want to run to any poachers. Um, what are poachers? Yeah, that was one of the bad things I was going to tell you later, Fluttershy, but I probably should tell you now. Poachers are bad people who capture animals and do bad stuff to them. And I'm not going to tell you all the bad stuff they do to animals because this is a kid's movie. We don't want any violence. Bad stuff to animals? That's mean. I agree. Same. Me too. If we run into a poacher, they better not do anything bad to us or Gummy. What could poachers do to us? Rainbow Dash, poachers are not a joke. Seriously. 
if we run into any poachers, they'll try and sell us or do something violent to us. Says the pony who tried to steal the sea pony's pearl. I don't think you should bring that up, Rainbow Dash. Ugh, it's fine, Applejack. No, Twilight, it's not. Rainbow Dash, you should be nice. Okay, you're right. Sorry, Applejack. <sighs> Come on, girls. It's a another couple miles to the mountain. <sighs> no thanks to Rainbow Dash still. Twilight, I... Don't speak to me, Rainbow Dash. I'm not ready for an apology just yet. Neither are we, darling. Nor me or Gummy are ready for an apology. Right, Gummy? Hop on, Gummy. I'll give you an alligator back ride. Or a pony back ride in this case. Oh, come on. Are you girls really going to ignore me on the way home? Hmm. Well, let me think about it, darling. Who is the one who put us in this mess? Oh, that's right. You are. Ugh. We're not ready for an apology yet, Rainbow Dash, so we'll let you know. Hey, what's that over there? That looks like a hideout, Fluttershy. And that is a 1995 Hummer truck. And look what that sign says. The hideout of Dr. Sid Spillbeans, the world's most wanted animal poacher. By any chance, did you do any reading on that person, Sugar Cube? As a matter of fact, Applejack, yes, Dr. Sid Spillbeans, a criminal that the police have been searching for for two years since 2020. Two years? Uh, three years, I meant to say. Sorry. Oh. Well, let's just walk past and hopefully... We don't get spotted. Now, come on, girls. Twilight, no, Rainbow Dash. I told you, we're not ready for an apology yet. <sighs> eh, eh, eh. Well, 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 what do we have here? Come on, girls, we gotta get to that mountain and go home. Ah, six talking ponies that I've never seen before. Or should I say, something I've never seen before. Ah, and a little baby alligator. Hmm. How much money would I make for six ponies and an alligator? I would probably make, I would give someone $5,000 for six talking ponies and an alligator. Yes. That will make me rich for sure. Julian! Dead! Rock, paper, scissors, go! Yes! Uh-uh. Paper beats rocks. Ah, nuts. How come you always win? Julian! Dead! What did I tell you about playing rock, paper, scissors? 
Oh, oh, sorry, boss. Uh, we're coming, boss. Uh, coming, boss. Coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Boys, we have discovered a new species of ponies that I want. That I can give someone $500 for. And someone would pay me $500 back. We are going to hunt six ponies and a baby alligator. Colorful ponies with weird marks on their legs. Uh, exactly what color are these ponies, sir? One? Well, there's a pink one. A purple one, a white one, a yellow one, an orange one, and a blue one. Are you talking about Princess Twilight Sparkle in the main six, sir? Maybe. Sir, are you saying that, yes, Twilight Sparkle and the main six all the way from Ponyville, magically, are here in Coolsville. Den. Can you please focus and stay with me? Sorry, sir. Anyway. I want those ponies, long story short, and I want to sell them for $500. Uh, well, uh, what's the problem? Well, we love to, but Julian and I are both swamped, sir. You know, video games to play. Family reunions, and he might have a nap schedule at, uh... Okay, okay, listen to me. I am optimistic you can both summon the brain power to clean up the you-know-what. Which I'm not gonna say what that you-know-what is, because this is a kid's movie, and we can't say inappropriate words. Do you both understand? Yes, sir, but if you remember, Julie and I didn't choose to work with you. Yeah, you kind of threatened- Ah! No talk back, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let this be a reminder to both of you. If you don't help me capture those ponies, I will feed both of you to that tiger we stole from Asia last month. And that tiger's been growling since we got it. Because it's very hungry for two blood-fleshing humans like you. So what will it be, you two? You help me? Or... You become a tiger's lunch. Your wish is our command, sir. Great. Now, load your guns with darts, and I will meet you in the Hummer in five minutes. <sighs> Den, what are we going to do? I don't know, Julian. The boss threatened us to work for him. If we don't do as we're told, we're going to become a giant lunch for that tiger. And I record everything threatening he said to us on camera. Well, I actually recorded it with my phone. I don't actually have a camera with me, but you probably get it. Don't worry. The time will come. And we'll show this to a judge. A lawyer, a court of law, etc. <sighs> Bye.
Okay, Twilight Sparkle in the main six from Ponyville we've heard of. Really be here in Coolsville in the middle of the woods. I don't know, Dan. I don't know. But, come on. Let's just go. Before the boss threaten us again. You see that sometimes criminals have a heart audience? Yeah, I bet you do. Hmm. Twiley and her friend's hoof prints keep going this way. Ooh, it's getting dark. And Luna's not even raising the moon. Looks like the moon raises itself in this world. No offense, Luna. None taken. Same with the sun. No offense, Celestia. None taken either. Shh. What is it? Get down, get down. Huh. Look over there. What? There. Bam, 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 bam. Hurry up, you two. Time's a wasting. Coming, boss. Poachers. Listen what they're saying. I want those ponies and that alligator captured. Once and for all. Um, Princess Celestia, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what are poachers? Well, according to the reading Twilight has been doing, poachers are bad people who capture animals and do bad stuff to them. Which I'm not going to tell you what kind of bad stuff because this is a kid's movie. Quite right, Celestia. And I bet those poachers are talking about Twilight and the others. And that alligator is probably Pinkie Pie's alligator gummy. Quick, get back before they see us and try and capture us too. Celestia, if you have a feeling those poachers are after Twilight and the others, well, so do I. Me too. Same. Flurry too. We better find Twilight before those poachers do. And we better find the others too. Yeah, I can't let those poachers do something bad to my little sister. Or the little fool I used to full sit. Yeah, Twilight and her friends are not flawless. I'll never forget that song they sang. I never claim to be perfect. My mistakes are all written in ink. None of us claim to be perfect. And it's sad if that's what you all think. Our flaws help to make us special. They bond us and keep us strong. Our flaws are what brought us together. So stop acting like something's wrong. We are not flawless. We're a work in progress. We got dents and we got parts. But it's our flaws that make us work. Yeah. We are not flawless. We're a work in progress. So tell me what flaws you got to. Cause I feel like what's brought about you. They say I'm a big shot. That my ego's the size of a whale. My confidence comes off as cocky. But it gives me the courage to fail. Sure, I Ponies think I'm all problem 
You're right, Shining Armor. Twilight was my faithful student, and she still is inside me. And Twilight's still the full, I used to full sit inside me. I'm not going to let some poachers hunt down my little sister. So let's find Twilight and her friends and make sure they're safe. Our thoughts exactly, Shining Armor. Now come on! Ugh, we've been walking all night. Ugh, my pinky hooves are really starting to hurt. I'm starting to get tired too, y'all. Twilight, darling, can we take a break from walking and sit down and rest somewhere? I was thinking the same thing anyway, Rarity. There, over there. We can sit over there and let our hooves rest. Ugh. Twilight? No, Rainbow Dash. I'm not ready for an apology. Yet. We all aren't. We're still pretty mad at you. Twilight, you can't... No! Rainbow Dash, don't. Fine. Whatever. Now let us rest. You rest too. Oh, Twilight, if only you could listen to me and let me apologize to you. <sighs> this is all my fault still. <sighs> Who even am I? I'm not even Rainbow Dash. I'm a thief. If I didn't steal Twilight's invention... Darling, do you mind? Rarity, I'm talking to myself! Sorry. I'm not Rainbow Dash. I'm Rainbow Thief. Let the rainbow remind you. How about... Let the rainbow... Not remind you. Each one of us has something special that makes us different, that makes us rare. We have a light that shines within us. That we were always meant to share And when we come together Combine the light that shines within There is nothing we can't do There is no battle we can't win When we come together We we'll a star to guide the way It's inside us every day See you now We may stumble, we may fall But we still have a kind of magic One that will see us through it all And when we come together Combine the light that shines within There is nothing we can do There is no battle we can't win When we come together Be a star to guide the way It's inside 
What's to become of me? What's to become of all of us? <laughs> all right, boys. Keep an eye out for those ponies. Oh! Do you two mind? Not violating Highway Code 401! Sorry, boss. We just want to see why dogs love it. We're not even on the highway. Well, we're not hunting dogs. We're hunting ponies. It doesn't matter if we're not on the highway. You are still not violating Highway Code 401! Hey, sorry, boss. No need to yell. There are the ponies. Hey, uh, boss? How about some music? No, 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 no. Do not touch that. No, no. Please, please, no, no. Do not touch that radio. No. Hey, Julian, remember this song? Got to love the world, be a friend, and when you're down, you got to... Boys, please! This is no time for a song! We are hunting ponies! Okay, sorry, boss, sorry, sorry. Anyway, there are those ponies. Get your guns ready. Huh? Wait a minute. Isn't that the poacher's truck we s walked past at the hut last night? Alright, boys. Let's capture some ponies. <gasps> ponies? That means us! Twilight! Girls! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Ugh. Rainbow Dash. What is it? No time to explain. Just, just run and fly. Bam. Ugh. What is that pony playing at now? Um, I think she's trying to tell us that we're a, that we should run because there are poachers approaching us. Wait, what? What? Uh, Rainbow Dash, wait for us! Oh, bam! Boing, 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 boing. Shoot them! Shoot them! Sleep darts! That's how they put animals to sleep. Whoa, whoa, watch out! Whoa! Start those engines, y'all! Uh, you two missed them! After them! But, boss, the truck's this way. We're chasing them on foot! Now, come on! Okay. <laughs>
girls, into those trees. They won't be able to follow us because they're so thick. Come on. Ah! No! Ah! Ugh. Should we keep going after them, boss? No! Back to the truck! We'll try and follow them on the road! You mean on the road? Quiet! Did we lose them? Yep, I think we lost them. Oh, <sighs> that was close, y'all. Sure was, Applejack. Wow, Twilight, you weren't joking about those poachers. They really are bad people. Something tells me those poachers are trying to capture us and sell us. We almost got sold once, and we won't be sold... Uh, almost won't be sold. Won't almost be sold. Again. What do we do now? Well, if we run into those poachers, we have to take every precaution and be careful. And we were having a nice relaxing nap until you interrupted it, Rainbow Dash. Twilight, those poachers were no. Rainbow Dash. I appreciate you warning us about the poachers, but I'm still angry. We're all still angry with you. <sighs> One day in the human world and we almost got captured by poachers. Still great going, Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Come on, girls. We gotta get to that mountain so we can go home. Yeah. The sooner we get home, the sooner I can give Angel Bunny a hug. Because I could really use a hug from Angel right now. Pinky, Gummy. You should have made a Pinky promise, Rainbow Dash. Well, girls, at least wait up for me. We are. Twilight! Twilight! Buttershy! Pinkie Pie! Rarity! Rainbow Dash! Applejack! Rainbow! Fluttershy! Twilight! We've been searching for them all night. We've got to keep looking. You just got to find her. Don't worry, Shining Armor and Princess Celestia. We will find them. And we'll make sure they're safe, too. I'm sure they're okay. Ponyville, aka home, here we come. Those poachers. Chose the wrong ponies to mess with, y'all. You're right, Applejack. Remember, be careful. We don't know when we'll run into them again. The sooner we get home to Ponyville, the sooner I can make cupcakes for all of us. Any sign of them? Nope. Sorry, boss. The trees are too thick. Sorry, boss. It looks like we lost those ponies. We're not giving up, boys. That's what we were worried about. What? 
Nothing. That's what I thought you said. Hmm. What to do next? That's the question. What to do next? <sighs> Darlings, we've been walking all day. And we haven't arrived at that mountain yet. I'm afraid this pony is out of pep. And it ain't getting much lighter out here, y'all. It's starting to get dark again. <laughs> hey, does any pony does any pony else smell that, or is it just me? I must be smell hallucinating. <laughs> no, you're not wrong, Pinkie Pie, because I smell it too. Darling, I smell it too. Now, I may not be my dog Winona, y'all, but I'm pretty sure that smell is coming from down there. That's a drive-in, Applejack. It's where humans go to watch a movie at night. Well, if there's popcorn there, I want some, because I'm hungry. So let's go. Boing, 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 boing. Follow the Pinkie Pie. Follow the leader. Hey, wait up! Well, all cars, buses, and trucks use different kind of gas, Bozzy. Our uncle always says, boss, do your research. When I say uncle, I mean uncles. How about that for six ponies and a baby alligator? We'll find them before you know it. Don't you realize? The more time we waste sitting here, the more I want those ponies! You know, this makes me feel like I want to move here to the human world. Me too. Same. Same here, darling. Yeah. I would like to move here sometime. We'll see, girls. Maybe we can talk to Principal Celestia about it. Surprise! Ah! Oh, big boss! Get off me! Both of you! Whatever that smell is, it's getting stronger. I can completely smell it now. <laughs> Me too. Mmm. I can almost taste that yummy, sticky, buttery popcorn. <laughs> Follow me, girls. Stay behind me, and don't touch anything. After you two! Thanks, Pinkie Pie. Ooh! What's this thing do, Gummy? Pinkie Pie, Twilight said not to touch anything. Oh, relax, silly. I'm just taking a look. Hmm. Wonder what happens if... Oops. Hey! What happened? What's going on? Pinkie Pie, quick! Pick it back up, quick! Quick!
What's the big idea? What happened? Oh, wow, this thing is heavy. Whoa, careful, don't break it, Pinky. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there, got it. Huh, that's strange. I don't remember this part of the movie. Everything goes all dark. Something must be wrong with a camera or movie projector or something. <coughs> hey look, there's a giant pony shadow. I don't remember that either. That pony shadow isn't in the movie. Those are my, those are one of my ponies. Na 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 na. Come on girls. You better catch up. Right behind you, Fluttershy. Wait for Pinkie Pie and Gubby. Boing, 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 boing. boing. <sighs> I must be hearing things. Look, y'all. A snack bar. Oh, no. But it's closed. Excuse me, ladies, but the drive-in snack bar is closed. Yeah, we can see that. My name is Jeff the Janitor, so I'll have to ask you to leave. Aw, can you please just open the bar for a couple of six ponies and a baby alligator? Pinky, please? Sorry, I don't run the snack bar. The manager does. Excuse me, ladies. I'm the manager of the Coolsville Drive-In, and... Hey, wait a minute. I recognize you. You do? Yeah. You're Princess Twilight Sparkle. And you're Pinkie Pie, and that's your pet alligator Gummy. Rarity, Fluttershy, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash. I think I've heard of you ponies. You're from, uh, Ponyville, right? Yes. Wow. Princess Twilight Sparkle, the princess of friendship, right here at the Coolsville Drive-In. You know, I've been a fan of you ever since I was a little boy, Twilight Sparkle. And I've been wanting to meet you since I was a little boy. Well, it's always nice to meet a fan. But... What are you and your friends doing in Coolsville, Twilight? Well... It's a bit of a long story. So we'll try and explain as we might. As we'll, mu we'll much try. But long story short, we're being tracked down by poachers. Poachers? Oh. We're looking for six ponies and a baby alligator. What? There are no six ponies and an alligator in this movie, pal. Just Muppets. No, wait. Don't touch that. Ah! Oh, that's bright. Oh. Den, boss, I see a bright light. Are we dead, or are we just blind? Shh, quiet, both of you. You see, we're being tracked down by a poacher, one named Dr. Sid Spillbeans, I, that I've read, who's a most wanted animal poacher who the police have been searching for two days. Ponies at 12 o'clock, thanks for nothing, sir. Uh, boss? Boss, where'd you go? Boss, where are you? Boss, where'd you go? Boss? Boss, where'd you go? Oh, come on, you two! Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry that you ponies are being tracked down by poachers. 
Me too. Is there anything we can do to help you ponies? Well, whoa, oh, ow. Darlings, we've got company. Pony 911. Any pony have a pony bag? Time to make like a ice cream sundae and split. Boing, 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 boing. Ah. Let's get out of here. Uh, thanks, Mr. Manager and Mr. Jeff, uh, for the offer of the help. But we'll probably come back sometime at the drive-in. But right now we've got to run for our lives. Come on, you two. They're getting away. Ah. Come on, Jeff. Those ponies are in trouble. They need our help. Right behind you, sir. Get them! <laughs> Run! After the Girls, quick! Over there! Go, 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 go! Uh, Twilight, what do we do now? I don't know. Some pony think of something. Now remember, you two. If you don't help me capture those ponies, you will become a Swiss chalet dinner for that time. Watch out, boss. Boom. Oh, oh. Twilight, you and the girls get ready to run. We'll take care of these poachers. Thank you, Mr. Drive-In Manager, sir. Uh, uh, boss? Boss, where are you? Boss? Boss, where are you? Boss? 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 I don't remember you wearing a blue hat. <clears throat> On my mark, girls, get ready to run. What mark would that be? Uh, hello, uh, driving working people. By any chance, you haven't seen any six ponies and a baby alligator, have you? <clears throat> Boys, let's go. Excuse me, were you trying to hurt these ponies from Ponyville? Uh, no. Jeff? Get them! Ah! 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 Go, Twilight, go! Now's your chance! You heard him, girls! Let's get out of here! Quick! Go, y'all, go! Thanks, Mr. Driving. People! Boing, 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 boing. Ah! Put us down! Put us down! Put us down! Put us down! Darlings, let's hope we not run into those guys again. Hey, wait for me! Ow! 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 God, that hurt! Ow! Oh my god! Ow! 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 Hey! Ow! Watch my eye! Ow! Ow, God! Oh, God! Ow! 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 Oh God! Ow! Oh my God! Ow! 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 Straw my eye! Ow! 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 We've been searching almost all night, Celestia. Shining Armor, Princess Celestia. 
I think it's best that we... Guys, are you okay? What? Oh, sorry, Princess Cadence. Sorry, Luna. Yeah, we're okay. We're just really worried about Twilight and her friends. <sighs> oh, Twily, where are you? Dear Celestia, we will find Twilight and the others. I think it's a good idea that we came to the human world. I mean, what if Twilight and her friends... I don't know, are in trouble and they need our help. Or something went wrong with Twilight's invention. Exactly. Now, come on, let's try and get some sleep. Okay, Cadence. All right, honey. And remember you two, no matter how far from home you may stray, the love every pony, including us, we all share is here to stay. Girls, I think we should rest here and go on in the morning. <sighs> Twilight's right, y'all. Let's get some sleep and catch some Z's. In other words, Oh, you probably know what I mean. Sweet dreams, every pony. Oh, sweet dreams, darlings. Sweet dreams about cookies and candy and ice cream and cookies. Did I mention cookies? I hope Twilight's okay. And her friends too. I can't sleep. I can't get that bad thing I did out of my head. This is all my fault. I'm just gonna face it. I wish I didn't take Twilight's portal machine in the first place. If I didn't take Twilight's portal machine in the first place, this wouldn't have happened to me or the others. Now Twilight is mad at me. The other girls are mad at me. Even Pinkie Pie and Gummy. Now look where we are. Twilight and the others don't even, probably don't want to talk to me anymore, or be my friends anymore. Before I know it, they'll no longer want to be friends with me anymore. <sighs> this is all my fault. This is all my fault. I bet my whole Daring Dew collection and the Wonder Bolts on this. <sighs> Twilight and the others won't let me apologize to them. And I really am sorry for what I did. I don't think they'll ever let me apologize to them. Especially Twilight. After I stole her invention. 
Applejack, darling, do you think we've been a little too hard on Rainbow Dash? Yes, Rarity, I think we have. Especially Twilight. The others probably wish I wasn't even here at all. That is not true, darling. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've gotta find a way to make up to Twilight. I'll think about it more tomorrow. I better get some sleep. I'll just sleep out here. Give the others some space, keep our distance. Rarity, I think we should talk to Twilight. My thoughts exactly, darling. We'll try to first thing tomorrow. Good night, Applejack. Good night, Ra Rarity. Good night, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> huh? Rainbow Dash? Why aren't you sleeping under the tree? Well, I figured you and the others would be mad, Twilight, so I thought I'd give you some space. Oh, well, okay. Thanks for being a good friend all of a sudden. Are you okay? No. Come on. Let's just get to that mountain and go back home to Ponyville. You heard Rainbow Dash, girls. Oh, so now we're listening to Rainbow Dash, darling? Come on, Rarity. I think Rainbow Dash... Well, I think I'm ready to hear an apology from Rainbow Dash. Okay, Twilight, but later can me and Rarity talk to you? Sure, Applejack. Come on, ladies. We gotta get to that mountain by tomorrow. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, we're so high up. <coughs> Ugh, so much popcorn in my mouth. Ugh. This is all the pony's fault. Hey boss, I think Julian and I can undo the ropes. Wait, what? No, 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 no! No, 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 no! We're lucky it's not raining, Celestia. Why, Luna? If it was raining, the rain would wash away Twily and her friend's hoof prints. Oh yeah, good call, Luna. Thanks, Celestia. Hmm. If I know Twilight, and I do, 
her hoof prints go right through this place called a drive-in where people watch a movie at night. Yep, Twilight and her friends have definitely been here. Even Flurry can see the hoof prints. Can you, Flurry? Oh, and audience, if you're probably asking why Flurry's being so quiet, well, she has a little case of tonsillitis. So that's why she's not talking. But don't worry. She'll talk again at the end of the movie. Come on, girls in shining armor. Let's keep looking for Twilight. And her friends. Yeah, those two. Thanks, Luna. No problem, big sister. What's wrong, Celestia? Does any pony else feel like we're being followed? It's probably just my imagination. Come on. I am very disappointed in you, Julian and Den. Letting those ponies get away. We almost had them. I could almost touch the $5,000 from the person I sell them to right now. It's not our fault they got away, boss. Those driving people attacked us. Doesn't matter. You're both to blame. I am so gonna feed you to that tiger once we capture those ponies and sell them! And that little alligator too! Have you even seen the claws on a tiger? Yes, sir, we have seen the claws of a tiger. Those claws are strong enough to take out an eye! You realize that? Yes. When I capture those ponies, I mean, when we capture those ponies, you both are going to become a Swiss chalet dinner for that tiger. Do you hear me? <sighs> Boss, don't give me that lip. Now turn your head and don't look at me. Did you get all that? Yep. What was that? Nothing. Nothing, boss. Nothing. <sighs> Our time will still come. I know. Aw, Dan, look. Aw, so cute. Aw. What are you both talking about? Oh, nothing. Yeah, nothing, boss. Just a bunch of ponies and a baby alligator walking through the fields over there. <coughs> ponies! Ah! Where? Ah! Back there. The world's cutest ponies. <coughs> Those are my ponies! If they aren't cute, then you're not smart! They are pretty cute. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Run, run! 
Whoa! Yeah! And people think I'm a crazy driver? Well, it's true! Yeah! Didn't we just lose these guys? Get them! That's what I'm talking about! Woohoo! Yeah! Uh-oh. Oh! Uh -oh. <sighs> oh! Hey, don't look at us, boss. This thing's a gas guzzler. You know, if we had hybrid, this kind of problem wouldn't happen. Julian has a point. Hmm? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'll get my gun. You two get your guns and get the net! Come on, y'all. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. They're gaining on us. Faster, faster. Come on, you two. Untangle the net. We're trying, boss. Come on, girls. That way. No, that way. Oh, come on. Let's get them. Oh. Twily. Where are you? Don't worry, dear. We'll find her. I just hope her friends are okay. Same. Same here. Even Flurry's worried about her auntie Twily. Look! Don't worry, Flurry. I'm sure auntie Twily's okay. Now, come on, let's keep looking. The hoof prints go this way. Come on. They're right on our tails. <laughs> uh oh. Darlings, dead end. Freeze! I mean, good little ponies. Cha ching, cha ching. Land sakes. They're worse than photo finish. I agree. Ugh, where's Starlight Glimmer and Trixie when you need them? We could use a spell right now. What do we do? We're trapped. I don't know, Fluttershy. I don't know. Hey, what's that rumbling sound? Um, y'all, I think we should probably hold on tight to each other. Uh, why? Because I think we're going for a ride down the mountain. Because this rock is starting to come loose. Applejack, you didn't do that! Uh, forget what I said about throwing up.
This is like a ride at the amusement park back in Ponyville. Oh, did Pinkie Pie say amusement park? Oh, amusement park, for example, like Universal Studios in Florida. <laughs> Cha-ching. Uh, darling, I don't think now's a good time for that. It's in the movie and the script, Rarity. Oh, sorry. My apologies. Continue. So like I said, a theme park like Universal Studios. Cha-ching! Again. Uh, Twilight? I don't want to break up this moment, but we should probably brace ourselves because we're about to crash into a big tree behind us. What big tree behind us, Fluttershy? That big tree! Hey, stop the music! That big tree! Watch out! Ah, uh, y'all, we better brace ourselves! Ah! Oh! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ow. Uh, 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 uh. Darlings, is my head spinning or is it just me? Ugh, every pony all right. I'm okay. So am I. Gummy's okay, too. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Well, those poachers won't be bothering us for a while. By the time they find a way down here, we'll be gone. Come on, girls. We've got to get to that mountain so we can go home. Yeah, about that, Twilight. Um, can me and Rarity have a talk with you? Oh, well, can it wait until we get to the mountain? No, darling. We need to talk to you now. And in private. Okay. Rainbow Dash, Gummy, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie. You four stay here. And don't wander off. <sighs> Rainbow Dash, where are you going? Twilight said to stay together and not wander off. I know, Fluttershy, but... I just need to be alone for a little bit. So, I'll be right back. Hmm, what's wrong with her? I don't know. Hmm. Looks like those ponies crashed that tree. Then, would now be a good time to betray the boss? Yes, Julian, I think it is. Come on, let's go when he's not looking. But why can't we just tell him? He threatened he'll feed us the tiger, remember? If we tell him we're no longer working with him, he'll threaten us again. Okay, good point. Come on, let's go. All right. Come on, boys. Let's find a way down there and we'll capture those ponies in no time. Boys? Den? Julian? Where'd you two go? Boys? <sighs> Did they really just betray me, audience? <sighs> they betrayed me. <sighs> Who needs them anyway? I'll just hunt these ponies myself and maybe I can sell... Dan and Julian, too. 
<sighs> anyway, I'll just find my way down there. I'll deal with those boys later. Applejack, darling. You go first. Thank you, Rarity. Twilight. Rarity, I, Rarity and I want to talk to you It's because, well, it's about Rainbow Dash. What? Well, you see, we overheard her talking to herself last night. How she feels bad about taking your portal machine and got us into this mess. She started to think that we don't want to be friends with her anymore and our friendship with her is about to end. Well, what? No. Of course what Rainbow Dash did was wrong, but it doesn't mean our friendship was... I, I, we know, darling. We know. We know. But you can't stay mad at Rainbow Dash forever. In fact, I think... I feel like you've been a little too hard on her. And I think we've all been a little too hard on her. And I think we're... We should let her apologize. What? Come on, Twilight. Remember when me and Rarity spent the night at the Golden Oak Library during a storm and we didn't get along during your first slumber party? Yes. Well, then we apologized to each other and put our differences aside. And we both had a great time, didn't we, Rarity? Yes, indeed, darling. Well, I think it's time that Rainbow Dash apologize and we forgive her, Twilight. Come to think of it, Applejack? I think I, most of all, have been too hard on her. That's what she said last night. And darling, just because friends disagree and argue doesn't mean their friendship is over. And we should tell her that. Or you should tell her that. Okay. I'll try and talk to Rainbow Dash. Rarity and I will be right here next to you, Sugar Cube, when you tell her. Okay. Hey, Fluttershy. Hey, Pinkie Pie. Ready to get going? Hey. Where's Rainbow Dash? Uh, she kind of went off to be by herself for a little bit. What? But I told you for her to stay together. I tried telling her that. But she wouldn't listen. She just wanted to be on her own for a little bit. What? Those poachers are still out there. Rainbow Dash! <sighs> what's the use? And what's the point? I still don't think Twilight and the others are going to forgive me. This shouldn't, this wouldn't have happened if I stole Twilight's invention. And I wish I didn't steal her invention in the first place. I just really didn't want to wait until the next day to explore the human world. Who even am I? Let the rainbow remind you. How about not let the rainbow remind you? Friendship is not magic. I should be the one to be captured by those poachers and have my friends live. I don't know what I'm gonna. Ooh! Ding! Ow! What? Hey! Who put this tree here? What's that sound? Where is she? 
Is she even in those bushes? Rainbow Dash! Hey, wait. There she is. Girls! Run! Rainbow Dash, wait. I need to talk to you. Now we'll have to wait, Twilight. I'm busy being chased by bees! Run! Bees? What bees? Bzzz. Oh, those bees. Uh, I don't know if my talking to animal thing will work in the human world, but I don't want to try anyway because I don't like being stung by bees, and these bees don't look too friendly after whatever Rainbow Dash did to anger them. Girls, run! Rainbow Dash, what did you do to make these bees angry? I accidentally bumped into the tree that their hive was hanging under. I mean on. Ow, that hurts. Ow, we're being stung. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 You think they're gone? I think so. Ugh. Is every pony okay? I'm good. Me too. <laughs> we're wet, darling, but we're all right. And that water helped with the bee stings. Rainbow Dash, why did you wander off after I told you, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Gummy to stay together? <sighs> Twilight, listen. I know you're still angry with me, and I know you don't want to hear it, but I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making the bees angry and make us chase us. And most of all, I'm sorry for taking your invention. This wouldn't have happened if I didn't take your invention in the first place. If I didn't steal your Poro machine, Twilight, we wouldn't be in this mess. And I know all of you are probably still mad at me. I understand you all no longer want to be my friend. <sighs> if our friendship ends, then it ends now and I understand. So... Maybe you girls should just go back to Ponyville without me. Since we're no longer friends. So, see ya. Rainbow Dash, Rainbow, wait, please. Rainbow, I have something to tell you. Rainbow Dash, I forgive you. I accept your apology for taking my invention. You do? Mm-hmm. Right, girls? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. We didn't mean to be so hard on you, Rainbow Dash. We were just angry. And Rainbow Dash, we're sorry for being so hard on, me, on you. But most of all, I'm sorry for being hard on you. I should have been more so sensitive.
And Applejack and Rarity told me they overheard what you said last night. Just because friends argue or disagree sometimes doesn't mean their friendship should end. And friends don't quit. So I forgive you, Rainbow Dash. You do? Yep. That's a good thing, because I was thinking of becoming a sacrifice to those poachers. Rainbow Dash, a sacrifice isn't a good thing. I know, but... I'm sorry again, Twilight. And I'm sorry, too. We're all sorry, Sugar Cube. For now on, I'll try my best to be patient. And I won't take your inventions again, Twilight. Thanks, Rainbow Dash. Group hug. Come here, y'all. Aww, I love you guys. Wait. What was, what's that sound? Some pony's coming, or somebody's coming. Oh, I hope it's not those poachers. No, those aren't human footsteps. Those sound like pony hooves steps. Twiley! Twiley! Wait a minute, is that... Twiley! Shining armor? Twilight! <gasps> Shining armor! Princess Celestia! Princess Luna! Princess Cadence! Flurry! Twilight Sparkle, we were so worried about you and the others. Oh, Twiley! We're so happy we found you and that you're safe. Twilight! Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> Twilight, where have you and your friends been for three days? We were so worried about you. Yeah, Twiley, where have you and... The other's been. It's a long story, Princess Celestia and Shining Armor. We'll try and explain as much as we can. But long story short, it's my fault. But I own up and... In fact, we all... We were all fighting. We got into an argument. And then... Well... You know... A friendship lesson, as typical. Well, what's most importantly is that you're all alright. And we're happy we found you. And now we can all go back to Ponyville and... Wait! Celestia, what's wrong, Luna? Hold that thought. I apologize for interrupting you, Celestia, but some pony's coming. Not some pony, Luna. Somebody. By any chance, you guys, you haven't run into any humans, have you, Twily? I'm afraid so. Shining armor. And I bet I know who... Those two humans we're about to meet are. Ah! It's those poachers! Oh, no, you don't! Stay back, or we'll use our magic on you! You heard the prince as a friendship! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold your magic! Whoa, whoa! Wait, wait! Whoa, Twilight, Twilight! Princesses, whoa! They said hold your magic! 
In other words, hold your fire. Yes, wait, hold your fire, all of you. Please, ponies, we're not here to hurt you. And we're not here to capture you. I don't believe that. No, wait, Princess Celestia, let them explain. Yes, yeah, Celestia. Maybe we should let them explain. Let them talk. Okay. Please, Princess Celestia, please. We promise we won't hurt you. How do you know my name? Let them explain, Princess Celestia. Please, Princess Celestia, please. Troops, troops. Okay, troops, but how do you know my name? Okay, listen. This whole finding you thing is just to warn you. Who are you two? You're the two poachers who work for Dr. Sid Spillbeans, the most wanted animal poacher in the world, who are trying to capture me and my friends, right? Yes, Princess Twilight Sparkle, you are correct. Wait, you know who I am? Yes, we know who you are, Twilight. We know who you all are. We've heard about you. We've heard about you, Twilight. We've also heard about Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, her pet alligator gummy, Fluttershy, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Shining Armor, Princess Cadence, and Cute Little Flurry Heart. Please, we promise, we pinky promise, we won't harm you. We said pinky promise, Pinkie Pie. We pinky promise we won't harm you. Cross our hearts, hope to fly, stick a cupcake in our eyes. Okay, go ahead. Listen. It's true. We are henchmen of Dr. Sid Spillbeans. My name is Julian. My name is Julian Grimman. And this is Den McWendell. Well then, what's going on? Why is Dr. Sid Spillbeans trying to capture us? He's trying to capture you, Applejack, because he wants to sell you for $5,000. And the reason why we're working for him is because, well, the truth is, Den and I didn't choose to work for Dr. Sid Spillbeans. He forced us to. <gasps> You poor things. Yeah. And Dr. Sid Spillbean said if we don't do as we're told and not help him capture you guys, or ponies, we will become a Swiss chalet dinner for a tiger he stole from Asia. Well, how dare! He treats you like this, darlings. We know, Rarity. So you see, we didn't choose to work for Dr. Sid Spillbeans. He threatened us to work for him. But when he wasn't looking when we were on that cliff, we ran off. So we're betraying him. And we want to help you ponies get home to your world. How do we know we can trust you? You're poachers. We promise, Princess Luna, we won't capture any of you. And we really want to help you get home. Please. You only have one option, all of you. Either we help you or you not let us help us at all. Looks like they're telling the truth, Princess Celestia. 
If they want to help us, we should let them. Okay, Den and Julian, you can help us. But we're keeping a close eye on you. Understood, Princess Celestia. And we're only going to use our guns on the boss. I said we're only using the guns on the boss. Fluttershy, relax. Uh, that's not why Fluttershy screamed. <gasps> well, well, well. You two betrayed me to help these ponies get home and keep me from selling them. Did you, Den and Julian? Well, now I can see there are more ponies. I can probably make more money if I sell them, too. And how dare you both betray me like this. I am so going to make you a meal for that tiger now. You're all... Gonna be sold, and I'm gonna be rich. And you, Dan and Julian, will wish you never helped those ponies. So, all of you, prepare to go to sleep. Oh, I don't think so, boss. Ugh. Wait, what are you doing? Ugh. I'll catch you at the mountain right after I take a nap. I will track you down and find you. Ding! Wow. You boys really do want to help us get home. The boss won't stay passed out for long. So come on, ponies. Come on. To that mountain. Go, go, go. We know a shortcut. Go, go, go. Uh, you really think a tranquilizer dart could pass me out, Dan and Julian? Well, you just made Dr. Sid Spill Beans really mad. Uh, go, guys. Go, go. He's right behind us. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go! Come on, Dan! Go, 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 go! Run! Run! He's right behind us! Go, go! Ugh, he knew that tranquilizer dart wouldn't make him pass out for long. Come on! Go, go, go! <laughs> Get back here! All of you! <laughs> Hold it! Uh, Celestia. I don't think we should stop running. No, Luna. I think we should stop running and listen to Princess Celestia because we have a big river in our way. Can't go over it. Can't go around it. Ah, uh, darlings. Spill beans is... Coming! He's right on our tails and manes! No worries, Rarity, because there's a boat at 6 o'clock! Good eye, Julian. Is it big enough to carry all of us? Voila! Gotcha now! Uh, we don't have time for that right now. Yeah, Princess Celestia is right. Everyone on the boat, go! Come back here! Uh, here, I'll cut it loose. Uh, there we go. Ah! I will not give up, ponies! I will see you at the mountain! 
Okay, some pony give us some status report, please. Or somebody, whatever. Well, good news is we lost Dr. Sid Spillbeans. And he said he'll see us at the mountain, but we'll, we'll get there before him, hopefully. And the uh, bad news. Well, the bad news is, Princess Luna, um... Maybe we should have thought about getting on the boat. Why? Because we're heading into some very dangerous and strong rapids? Den, every pony, grab onto something and don't let go! Good thing I'm a pony who's used to dangerous stuff like this. You better hang on, Rainbow Dash. Mr. Denning said, er, I mean, Mr. Julian said, I, I did hear what Mr. Julian said, Fluttershy. Don't worry. Oh, good. Let's just sit back, relax, and let Mother Nature take us for the, whoa! Whoa, whoa! bad feeling that mother nature's in a bad mood today i think so too darlings oh, 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 oh. guys watch out rocks oh gross ew ow Ow! Ew! Remember, don't drink river water, kids, at home. Whoa, whoa! Oh! Oh, thanks, Celestia. Yes, thank me indeed. We made it through the dangerous rapids. Yes, but that means there's a huge waterfall up ahead. Hold on. Ah! Ah! Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie! What? Huh. And who says there aren't any rides in the forest of Coolsville? We definitely got the thrill part down. I 100% agree with you, sugar cubes. It's better than being sold or being eaten by an endangered tiger. How much further, Twilight, darling? There. There's the mountain. Where the portal machine should be. And look! There's the portal machine. Okay. Uh, Twily? Yes, big brother? Um, why is your portal machine on the top of that mountain? Uh, that's a long story. Can I explain... When we get home, please? Sure. Yeah, Twilight's right. She doesn't have time to explain. Dr. Sidsville... Stop. I mean... Sorry, tongue twister. 
Dr. Sid Spobeans is probably right behind us right now, and he could be here any minute. So come on. We gotta get to the top of the mountain, get the portal machine, and uh, head back to the waterfall. Head back to the waterfall. And every pony and everybody be careful climbing. I can tell this mountain is very steep, and if any of us slip, we could fall and crash into a tree and hurt our backs. Just like Twilight and her friends did earlier. Twilight, you crashed into a tree? Are you okay? Yes, Princess Cadence, and that is a long story. Again, have to explain later. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Whoa! Careful. It's very slippery. Yeah, every pony be careful. Don't want to almost get hurt by crashing into a tree again. You're right as rain, Twilight. You are as right as rain. Well, look on the bright side. At least our powers still work in the human world. And we can still fly. <sighs> the wind is too strong to fly for me, you, Rainbow Dash, Cadence, Celestia, and Luna. Fluttershy. So we have to climb. I know. Ah, oh, thanks, Celestia. We made it. Now let's grab the machine and head back to the waterfall and go home. Um. There's just one problem with what you said, Twilight. Yeah, what's that? Um, Dr. Sid Spillbeans is at the bottom of the mountain. And if we go down there, he'll capture us. Ha ha ha! I told you ponies I'd get here after you. Now stay there. I'm coming to capture you and I'll sell you for... Six hundred dollars! Land sakes! We're doomed! Spillbeans is gonna capture us and sell us for sure! Ugh! I had enough with the boss! Me too! What are we gonna do? We need a plan! Don't worry! Huh? I'll protect you. Who are you? Are you another animal poacher? No, Princess Luna. And don't worry. I won't harm any of you ponies. My name is Officer Paul Cranshaw. I'm an undercover animal protection police officer. And I've been on the case on the search of Dr. Sid Spillbeans. I knew someone was following us and stalking us at the drive-in. My apologies if I was spying on you, Princess Celestia. And yes, I do know all of you. Applejack, Twilight Sparkle, Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence, Shining Armor, Pinkie Pie, Gummy the Alligator, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Rarity. And you two are Den and Julian, the henchmen of Dr. Sidsby, Sid Spillbeans, who were threatened to work for him. I recorded everything you said to the ponies. Don't worry. I'll show it to a lawyer in law, a.k.a. a judge. And I have the perfect plan to put an end to Dr. Sid Spillbeans. And 
the first part is calling the authorities. And here's the rest of the, my plan. So huddle up, every pony and everyone. Now we're gonna... At last, I got you ponies. Now. And now, to do what I plan on doing with all of you. Sell you for $6,000. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Wait, where's Den and Julian? No matter. Ponies, prepare to go to sleep. And when you wake up, You'll be in your new homes, owned by rich people in the United States of America. So, again, prepare for sleep time. Oh no, Princess Celestia, whatever should we do? I don't know, Twilight. We should probably brace ourselves for impact. It was nice knowing you, y'all. Now! Huh? Now! Leave those ponies alone, boss! Oh, you think I'm through with you? Well, not yet. Twilight! Over to you! On it! Hey! Give me back my shotgun! Huh. You're right, Fluttershy. Pony magic still works in the human world. Told you. How dare you! Who turned off the lights? Gotcha. Calling the police now. Celestia, Luna, you're up. This is what you get for trying to poach my faithful student. You know, that is one Universal Studios ride I will not be sitting in line for. Me neither, Fluttershy. Me neither. Let me go! This instant! Oh, you want us to let you go? We'll let you go. Whee! Put me down, I'm still floating! Oh, we'll put you down. Down the mountain. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Whee! Ah! How dare you? How dare you defy Dr. Sid Spilby, the world's most wanted animal poacher? 
Put your hands up where we can see them! What? Whoop, whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop! It's over, Dr. Sid Spillbeans. We've been looking for you for a long time. You're wanted for poaching animals. Now, who called us? I did, fellow officers. Paul Cranshaw, undercover animal prote protection police officer. And I bet you probably know the ponies of Ponyville. This is Princess Twilight Sparkle, the Princess of Friendship, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Princess Cadence, her baby Flurry Heart, Shining Armor, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie's Pet Alligator Gummy, Fluttershy, Applejack, and Rarity. Wow. Well, what do you know? The Ponies of Ponyville. It's an honor to meet you. Wow. It's like everyone in the human world knows all of us. Well, not in the lead, Pinkie Pie. Oh. What's the problem? Dr. Sid Spillbeans was trying to poach the ponies of Ponyville and sell them for $600. Please take them away. Hands behind your backs, Spillbeans. You're going downtown. <clears throat> Do not resist! Do not resist! Do not resist! Get off! I will not! How dare you put your hands on me! I will... Great shot, officers. Thanks, Applejack. Get up. <sniffs> Dr. Sid Spillbeans, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <clears throat> and do not resist. Again. Good riddance. Dr. Sid Spillbeans is really... Creeping me out. Us too, Pinkie Pie. Now she'll be going... I mean, he'll be going to jail. For the rest of his life. Hear that, boss? Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Have a good life in jail, boss. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Julian and Mr. Den. Yes, officer. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to arrest you, too. After all, you're both Dr. Sid Spillbean's henchmen. What? Officer, please. We didn't choose to work for Spillbeans. He threatened us. Well, unless you have evidence. Do I have evidence, please, officer? Please, forgive me for interrupting, officer. But I have evidence. You see... I've been following these ponies and the poachers when they weren't looking. In the shadows, I recorded everything the ponies said, what the poachers said. I recorded everything, I promise. Yes, please, officers, don't arrest Mr. Den and Mr. Julian. They betrayed Dr. Sid Spillbean's to help us, to get home. Please, officers, please don't arrest them. They were so nice to us. They only did what Spillbeans asked them to do. I'm sorry, Fluttershy and Princess Twilight, but if Paul, Mr. Paul has evidence, and unless Mr. Den and Mr. Julian as evidence. We can't let them go. We have to arrest them still. And that's up to the lawyer or the judge to decide. We're just doing our job, arresting bad people. We can't decide who to let go and who gets to stay in jail. Princess Celestia. 
I'm afraid we'll have to listen to the human police officers, Twilight. Yes. After all, it is against the law to argue with a police officer. Right? You are correct, Princess Luna. Don't worry, Twilight. Den and I have evidence. We'll show it to the judge. Well, girls, guess we have one last thing to do before we go home to Ponyville. And Princess Celestia, I was going to talk to you about something. But I'm afraid it'll have to wait. Well, don't worry, Princess Twilight. I'm sure the judge will believe both the poachers and Mr. Officer Paul. So we'll see you all in court. Very well, officers. We'll be okay, Twilight. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Okay. Permission to hug the p nice poachers, officer? Permission granted, Fluttershy, but really quick. Mm, you guys were so nice. I promise it's going to be okay, Fluttershy. We'll see you in court. All rise. Okay, have a seat. Phil, what do we have? Dr. Sitz Bill means we're trying to poach these ponies, Your Honor. These ponies? Are these the ponies from Ponyville? Is that Princess Twilight Sparkle? Yes, Your Honor. It's an honor to meet you, Princess of Friendship. It's an honor to meet you too, uh, Your Honor. And I bet you probably know Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and Shining Armor, and my friends. Yes, I do. Psst, Your Honor, focus. Oh, sorry. My apologies, ponies. My, I'm a huge fan. I've heard of you. So, Princess Twilight, is it true that Dr. Sid Spillbeans and these two men, Den and Julian try to capture you and your friends and the princesses in shining armor and sell you for $600. Yes, Your Honor. But please, Your Honor, Den and Julian, they didn't choose to work for Dr. Sid Spillbeans. They told us that they were threatened to work for Dr. Sid Spillbeans. Mr. Den and Mr. Julian, is this true? Yes, Your Honor. Princess Twilight, the Princess of Friendship of Ponyville, she's 100% right. And we have evidence. Your Honor, my name is Paul, Officer Paul Cranshaw of the Animal Protection Police, and I have evidence too. So, may I please approach the bench? You may. Uh, everything's going to be okay. Twilight, don't worry. Mr. Den, may I use your phone to show the evidence you and Julian have? Sure. Okay. Your Honor, first I'll show you the evidence... I have, and then I'll show you the evidence Mr. Den and Mr. Julian have. Here. You see, Your Honor, I've been following these ponies and the poachers very closely. I recorded everything that happened to them. I recorded everything what Mr. Julian and Mr. Den said to them. And I think you should hear what they have to say. Mr. Den, Mr. Julian... You may speak. 
You see, Your Honor, Dan and I didn't choose to work for Dr. Sid Spillbeans. He threatened us, and he said, if we don't work for him and do as we're told, he will turn us into a swish LA dan dinner for a endangered tiger he stole from Asia. In fact, we told Mr. Paul the location of his hideout, Your Honor, and so you'd be surprised that Dr. Sid Spillbeans has poached a lot of animals while the police were looking for them. Why, you tattletales! Order! Order! Sorry about that, YouTube. Continue? Yes, we have a lot of other animals that Dr. Sid Spillbeans has poached, Your Honor. We have some... We have a skull of a snow leopard, some rhino horns, elephant tusks, and other violent stuff we can't tell you because this is a kid's movie and it's almost over. And now, Your Honor, here's some more of the evidence I, sh I sh can show you on my phone. Here are some videos of what the poachers said to the ponies. You promise this is true, Mr. Den and Mr. Julian? Yes. Hmm. And now here is my... Here's the evidence Dan and Julian have, Your Honor. Let me make this very clear. If you don't help me capture those ponies, and if you're not do as you're told, you will end up and find yourself being the tiger's lunch. <gasps> So you see, Your Honor, Mr. Den and Mr. Julian, they should go to jail. They helped us. They should be our friends, even though they are. Why would those two be your pony's friends? They chose to work for me! That is a lie. Yes. You threatened them to work for you. They didn't choose to work for you. You threatened them. You two are going to pay for this. I will find a way to come back. I will never die. Your Honor! Your Honor! Order! Order! Order in the court! Order! Order! Uh, Your Honor, there's no need to yell. We all heard you loud and clear. Oh, my apologies for my temper tantrum. I just get angry easily. Anyway... Order! I've heard enough. Mr. Den and Mr. Julian? Mr. Den and Mr. Julian? The charges against you have been dropped. You both are free to go. Phil, uncuff them at once. Yes, Your Honor.
by the power infested in me, Mr. Den and Mr. Julian. You are now friends with Princess Twilight Sparkle and all her friends, ponies of Ponyville. And as for you, Dr. Sid Spillbeans, your days of hunting and poaching animals are over. Not only will we make sure you won't be poaching and hunting animals, but we send the right person to jail. And that's you. Phil, arrest him. This isn't over. I will get you ponies for this. If it's the last thing I do, you two dead and Julian. I will find a way to come back. I will track you down. And I will sell you. Ah! Quiet, you! Come on! The officers are waiting outside. Thanks so much, Officer Paul, for clearing our names. Anytime. We're so happy to hear that you and Den won't be going to jail, Julian. We're happy too, Fluttershy. Now let's get you ponies back to that waterfall so you can go home. Oh, excuse me, uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle? Yes, Your Honor? Now, you, singing is not allowed in a court, but do you think you can sing two of my favorite songs? The Flawless Song and Let the Rainbow Remind You? We'd be happy to, Your Honor. No rush. We're not in a rush to get home. I never claim to be perfect. My mistakes are all written in ink. None of us claim to be perfect. And it's sad if that's what you all think. Our flaws help to make us special. They bond us and keep us strong. Our flaws are what brought us together. So stop acting like something's wrong. So you see, audience. Every pony, none of us ever claimed to be perfect. Without our flaws, there wouldn't be any friendship lessons to learn. Without our flaws, there probably wouldn't be any friendships at all. Each one of us has something special. The 
that makes us different, that makes us rare. We have a light that shines within us, that we were always meant to share. And when we come together, combine the light that shines within. There is nothing we can do, there is no battle we can't win. When we come together, we'll be a star to guide the way. It's inside us every day. That was a beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Twilight, Den and I are really sorry Dr. Sid Spillbeans tried to capture you, ponies. Apology accepted, darlings, and we're really sorry Dr. Sid Spillbeans threatened he would feed you to that endangered tiger he stole from Asia. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Dr. Sid Spillbeans anymore. You're right, Fluttershy. Dr. Sid Spillbeans is locked up behind bars in prison. He won't be bothering us anymore. Yeah, but I can't help wondering, Sugar Cubes. What if Dr. Sid Spillbeans try to get revenge on us? After all, remember what he said. He said he'll find a way to come back. Well, he probably said that because he heard it in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So, it's probably nothing to worry about, Applejack. You, you don't have to worry about him. You sure? Yes, Applejack, I'm sure. Okay. Now, come on, Twilight. We gotta get you and your friends home. And I'll help, too. Thanks, Officer Paul. Come on. Wait. Dan, Julian. Maybe... We shouldn't go home. I mean, you... You're our friends now. Twilight will always be friends, even if we're far apart. And now would be a good time to talk to Princess Celestia. And Twilight, what me and Den learn, wherever you roam, you are my home. Oh, I think I might know where you learned that from. Any pony up for another song? I am, me too. Pinkie Pie's up for singing. And start singing song montage. Oh, Applejack.
Oh, you shine bright, brighter than all the stars, brighter than fireworks, so I give you all my love. And your perfection, even in your mistakes, give affection, even when your heart aches, when I'm away, you're who I'm thinking of, because you are my home, 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 wherever I may roam, you are the place where I can rest my weary bones. You are my home, home, home. You are my home, 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 home. That's my little sister. Sing it, Twiley! You're a diamond Brightening my cloudy sky Sparking through all the night Light me up like fireflies See you shining even in the darkness Stands beside me when I don't deserve it That's why I say you give me all my love Because you are my home, home, home Wherever I may roam You are the place where I could rest my weary bones You are my home, home, home you are my home, home, home. You're my number one, there's no doubt. And we stick together throughout like Boy Scouts. We all bow, off the line and off the run. So slush you out, where are you at? Wave your hooves, front to back, everyone. So slush you out, out in the crowd. I love you, Princess Celestia, and Luna, and Kate, and Johnny Armour! You are my home, home, home! Well, here's the waterfall we all came out of. The portal machine is all fired up. Every pony, get ready to go through the portal. Bland sakes. I can't wait to get home and see Big Macintosh, Apple Bloom, and Granny Smith, and the whole Apple family about our huge human world adventure. And Winona's probably barking crazy, wondering where I am. Oh, and I hope Angel Bunny isn't Angry that I was gone for too long. He's probably hungry, and I probably let them starve for three days. I can't wait to tell the cakes. Pound cake and pumpkin cake will be amazed once I tell them about our adventure. And I hope Sapphire Shores forgives me for not making her dresses. And I can't wait to tell the Wonderbolt Scootaloo about our adventure. They'll be so amazed. We're all... We've had quite a big adventure, didn't we, Twiley? Yes, Princess Celestia, we did. Well, Julian... Den, Officer Paul, I guess this is goodbye. Oh, um, Princess Celestia. Yes, Twilight? I was wondering if, well, there's some parts of the human world we haven't explored yet. Yes. And I was wondering if 
some of us can move here to the human world. Oh, well, um, I don't know, Twilight. I don't want you running into bad people. Please, Princess Celestia. Come to think of it, Celestia, Shining Armor, Cadence, and Flurry Heart and I have been thinking of moving here too. We all have thought about moving here, Princess Celestia. Yes! Think about all the nice people we can meet and the new adventures we can have. And b I believe we've all learned a friendship lesson. Sometimes it's hard to be in a new place, but it's not too bad as long as you make new friends. Yes, and maybe I can explore the world and see all animals from around the world. Yeah, and I can learn all about the food that humans eat in this world. And take a break from eating all the food in Ponyville. And think about it, Princess Celestia. I don't have to control the clouds, and you and Luna don't have to, you know, keep raising and lowering the sun and moon. The sun and moon rises and goes down on their own in this world. So what do you say, Princess Celestia? I think we will move to the human world. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Oh, thank you, Princess Celestia. You're the best. You can always talk to me about anything, Twilight. Oh, but. Julian, Dan, Officer Paul, yes, Twilight? Will we ever see you again? Well, Dan and I plan on becoming zoologists, exploring the world, studying wild animals. And I'll always be an undercover animal protection police officer. So you, so I can give you my number so you can call. I'm sure you'll make some new human friends, Twilight. Even if Den and I won't be here in Coolsville. We'll, but when you build a house, whenever you decide to, we'll come visit. You promise? Yep, we promise. Promise? Yes, Pinkie Pie. We cross our hearts, hope to fly, stick a cupcake in our eye. We'll keep our pinky promise, Pinkie Pie. We promise. Okay. Come on, Twilight. It's time to go. Well. Thanks, Dan and Julian. Thanks again for everything. We'll keep in touch. Yep. Once you learn about cell phones and other devices. Oh, don't worry. I don't need to learn. I've done a lot of reading about the human world and I know all about this stuff already. Come on, every pony. Let's go home. So long, human friends. So long, Twilight. Bye, Fluttershy. Bye, Pinkie Pie. Bye, Gummy. Bye, Rarity. Applejack. Rainbow Dash. See you, Princess Celestia. Bye, Luna.
Buy Flurry Heart. Buy Shining Armor. Buy Princess Cadence. Come on, girls. Let's go home. We'll always remember, friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. Come on, girls. So long, human friends. Bye, Twilight. We'll never forget you. Let's go, girls. I wonder what Mud and Mudbriar will think of this. Oh, Pinkie Pie. Thanks so much for everything again, Officer Paul. Anytime. Here's my contact number. See you two around. Well, Dan. We... Betrayed our evil boss. We made some new pony friends. Do you think someday we can visit Twilight and her friends in Ponyville? We'll never know. Julian, we'll never know. But this, all I know is a happy ending. For all of us. How about some ice cream? To celebrate. I'm up for ice cream. Okie dokie, Loki. Well, darlings, that concludes our movie, Rarity's Right. We hope you had a great time watching. And remember you all to make sure to keep your movie theater clean by throwing away any popcorn containers, candy wrappers, and empty cups. And remember to throw your garbage in the garbage can. Uh, I think they already know that, Pinkie Pie. And remember to take care going home. And we'll see you in the series coming July 2024. And always remember, friendship is magic. So this is Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Shining Armor, Princess Cadence and Flurry Heart, who still has bronchitis. And Princess Twilight Sparkle, the Princess of Friendship, and her friends, signing off. So we'll see you in the next movie. Bye! <laughs>
My little pony, my little pony. My little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Until you all shared its magic with me. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete to have my little pony. Do you know you're all my very best friends? How dare they put me in this prison? This is all those ponies, Dan and Julian's fault. I will find a way to get out of here. If it's the last thing I'll do, I will find a way to come back. I always will come back. I'll be back, ponies. I'll be back! 
and I'll get you for this! Hmm.